Lieutenant General Sir William Erskine, first baronet, was a British Army commander and the first baronet of the Erskine of Torrey creation. Background Erskine was the son of Colonel the Honourable William Erskine of Torrey, Deputy Governor of Blackness Castle, Linlithgowshire, and grandson of David Erskine, Second Lord Cardross. Erskine first married Magdalen Merton, daughter of Robert Merton of Gogha, and then Francis Moray, daughter of James Moray of Abercany. His eldest son by his second wife, Francis, William, the second baronet was a cavalry officer who committed suicide in Lisbon, Portugal in 1813 after a mental breakdown. He had another son, James, who was an officer in the 133rd foot, and became baronet on his elder brother's death. His third son John, also became baronet, on the death of his brother James. Erskine joined his father's regiment the 7th Dragoons in 1742 and served in the War of the Austrian Succession, seeing action at the Battle of Fontenoy, then in the Seven Years' War. By March 1759 he was in Germany with the rank of Major in the 15th Light Dragoons, and was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel commanding the same regiment in 1762. Erskine performed exceptionally on the field at the Battle of Emsdorf and was able to present King George III with 16 colours captured by his regiment. For his prowess, Erskine was knighted. American War of Independence Erskine was posted to America in 1776 as a brigadier staff officer under Clinton, seeing action in the New York campaign and commanding the 7th Brigade at Long Island the 27th of August 1776. In 1777 he was quartermaster general to Lord Cornwallis. Erskine is credited with advising Cornwallis on the occasion of the Battle of the Assunpink Creek not to put off attacking the Continental Army on the night of 2 January 1777. The Continental forces moved away by night, fighting the Battle of Princeton on 3 January. Erskine was made Colonel of the 80th Foot on 4 March 1777. Now a Brigadier General, Erskine accompanied British forces as second-in-command under General William Tryon with the assistance of General James Agnew on an inland raid against Patriot supply depots in Danbury, Connecticut. After successfully destroying Patriot supplies, the British forces engaged and defeated Continental Army Generals David Worcester, Benedict Arnold, and Gold S. Silliman and Patriot militiamen in the Battle of Ridgefield. Erskine served in the Philadelphia Campaign and then, following Sir William Howe's resignation in 1778, continued as Quartermaster General under Henry Clinton. Erskine went on to lead troops at the Battle of Monmouth and after that campaign was given command of the Eastern District of Long Island. Erskine's last active duty in North America was commanding five infantry battalions and a cavalry squadron in pursuit of the Continental Army which was thought to be moving to Virginia in November 1778. Promoted Major General on 19 February 1779, Erskine sailed for London the same year. Wars of the French Revolution. He became Colonel-in-Chief of the 26th Foot in 1782. On 28 September 1787 he was promoted Lieutenant General. He became a Baronet in 1791. After the declaration of war with Revolutionary France he served on the staff of the Duke of York in the Flanders Campaign from late 1793. Erskine was given command of the army during York's absence through the winter of 1793-1794. At the opening of the spring campaign he was given command of York's right wing in April 1794. He drove the French from Praymont on 16 April but was unable to join York to complete the victory at Vaux. He commanded a column sent by Coburg to reinforce Clare fate after the French breakthrough on 26 April, then commanded a 16-squadron cavalry reserve under York at the Battle of Torcoing on 17-18 May. 
He again fought at Tournai soon after. Erskine commanded the Second Line Corps in August. Erskine died on 19 March 1795, aged 67, and is buried at Torreburn, Fife. In the army he was nicknamed Woolly Erskine.